Whereas here in an NHRA drag race, I can pick any one of these racers and say, I want to go watch them work on their car, do something, and talk to them while they're doing it. I can do it. That's what's different about drag racing. Sean Cowie heating him up on the Lucas Oil side. Mundy's towing, Norm Grimes, team out of Langley, British Columbia. Does he get the longest tow award, says Dave Moe. That's a good question. Well, what about the Leanders from Sweden? They keep their car here, see? And then there's all these wrinkles. And the long tow award. Jeff Beal, Canfield, Ontario. Jeff Beal, always known as a big speed car, and he's got Kendall Racing Oil on board, Napa on board, flying the Nitro Ninja decal. I love our vantage point here at the tower at Maple Grove because we are hovering right over the starting line on the left-hand side of the racetrack. We can see so much down into the cockpit of the race cars. And oh boy, is it loud. Sean Cowie, the number eight qualifier, Jeff Veal, the number five qualifier, both ran in the 5.3 second zone. If you want to be number one, you got to run quicker than 5.19.7. So they got some room to operate. Let's see if they can step it up. Sean Cowie's getting after it. Cowie, Lucas Oil side, 5.23.8.275. Sean Cowie with a big improvement up to third. Sean Cowie, now right behind Earl Nichols, just ahead of Jackie Frick by a couple of thou, five thou. Jeff Veal stepping up as well, 529.7, 275, 56. And so Jeff Veal is able to move in the right direction as these guys taking their second qualifying session and doing something with it. What a side-by-side -side run, 523 to a 529, both over 275 miles per hour. What do you think of that, Maple Grove?